please click like and subscribe and that little notification bell for the next episode. And Oklahoma is known for its, its fields. It's not a mountainous area. And here we are in Miami and this is Nine Foot Road. There was a big rainstorm last night so a lot of it got covered with gravel. And as you can see, it's a deteriorated part of the original Route 66 roadbed. Route 66 goes all the way up. We're going to follow this road. It's not very long. It's been a very stormy day, as you can see from the clouds. But the sun came out just for us to film this. This is some more Nine Foot Highway. Nine Foot Highway here is a little bit more defined. Here you could see it, nine feet across. The road is deteriorating, but you still have the curb to the fine nine foot highway. That continues on and dissolves into dirt road. The buildings that are still there that were from 1930, 1940, right. they're still there. Another deserted, abandoned building that we found on our way to the Nita between the two nine foot highways we're going to travel. Oklahoma tornado tell Yeah, and so Vincent's been dying to see a tornado. So we've been looking for tornadoes. Yeah. And... Okay, so here's the second foot of Nine Foot Highway, and this is in Afton. I believe we're going into Afton now. And as you see, Nine Foot Highway is going to start right now. And Nine Foot Highway is heading right towards the heart of the storm, where there are tornadoes. And this is the way Route 66 was almost all the way when it first was made. Just nine feet wide for one car. Because nobody really had cars. Only, you know, the well-to-do would have a car. And mostly this road would be uh, traveled by wagons and uh, horses. And that's why this is the most dangerous highway. Is because it's a two-way street and it's only nine feet wide. So in the middle of the night, people wouldn't see each other until it was too late. Our car would see a wagon that doesn't have lights on it and it crash into the horse. And, you know, all kinds of people traveling, walking on it, they wouldn't be seen. And we're near the end of the Route 66 9 foot highway. But this little section right here, you could see the original roadbed that's underneath the asphalt that was put onto it. Afton is one of the towns that we drove through. Now, we didn't have anybody to speak to, but it was full of old buildings. It's an old match factory and a hotel. And this is another casualty of Route 66 here in Afton. We're in Afton right now, and this is what's left of the Rest Haven Hotel. And now it belongs to private property, no longer a motel. And this, I believe, had a fire in it. And it used to house the largest matchbook collection. And as you can see, Afton going through some hard times. Right now we're looking at the old Afton Motel. It's, uh, it's a ruin now. Long since deserted and forgotten. The sounds of the train in the background. Like the ghost. Time gone by. You see the old cottages. Cottages, yeah. yeah. That, that, they were vibrant cottages back in the day. All the bridges were beautiful. Remember? Right now there's, you'll find lots of bridges and, uh, and lots of murals. In Benita, you'll see a mural with a couple bowls. This mural is in Benita, Oklahoma. And this is another mural on the other side. And one of the places is Clayton. Clayton. Clayton Cafe. And Clayton Cafe, we didn't go into it, but that is definitely an iconic stop. And we're in front of old Clayton Cafe right here in Benita. The old road stop, the big E sign, you can't miss it. Then you'll find a lot of murals that are depicting Route 66 before Route 66. And they're decayed. Remember, they're yes. getting older. They're getting old, falling off the wall. Here's a little mural in Benita, right off Route 66 by one block. Gold ceiling coming off. This may be the last time you'll see it. 
when the new um, road came in, that's what happened. When and the highway came the in. The highway, yep. A lot of these towns are bypassed. And that's why you see yeah. the abandoned buildings. Yeah. The ruins of Route 66. The ruins of Route 66. And this is another service station that has seen better days on old Route 66. And right next door to that one is another old gas station that has become a relic on Route 66.